Hi, Eric Brockmeyer here, uh, founder and CEO of the Honest Water Filter Company. We just got done with a wonderful training here at Orange and ARS in Orange, uh, California. Uh, this is Bill. Bill, why don't you give us a little bit about who you are and what you do and how uh, this training impacted ARS here today for the first time. Yeah, my name is Bill Tompkins, uh, general manager here at Orange Rescue Rooter. Uh, and today, I think you did a great job of giving my guys a tool to go out there and sell. Yeah. No, the, one of the tools I gave them, if you remember, I gave them the $20,000 tool. You did give them the $20,000. You know, one of the biggest things we get is how does something work? And it's really hard to articulate in training in such a short period of time. I know I only get like an hour, hour and a half sometimes because I understand as a previous owner that revenue matters. And as long as we're sitting in this classroom, although it's revenue generating uh, after the fact, we're losing revenue. So I have to kind of hurry. And I wanted to give these guys a tip today. And I said, you know, when we're talking about how something works, you got to love this, right? A lot of them, when I ask them, how does it work? They're, I don't know. And they give me their little answers. And I say, well, let me, if you're ready for the $20,000, I I want every manager to hear this. If you can just get them to be consistent. And when someone says to them, well, tell me a little bit about how it works. The response, and you remember it, right? What was it? It works great. It's so simple. We never have to tell. Nobody really wants to know the chemical process. What they really want to know is that you believe in it. Would you agree? I'd agree. I think it's more that if the more confidence you have in the product, the more confidence your consumer will have in Yeah, the and that statement really translates to all aspects of plumbing when we're presenting it. Now, you know, one of the important things for me, Bill, and I think you caught on to it, was that they have to have a belief, right? The belief has to be the why. Why would we want to offer water treatment? And why do you think we need to offer water treatment? What's the one biggest thing? Well, I think the one biggest thing that you want to offer the water uh, is, is confidence. Confidence and, and the quality, And the right? quality, yes. yes. We know that Americans don't drink tap water, right? Right. You know that. Absolutely. And I will tell you, and I think you might agree, that water breaks everything. And that's kind of why we're in this business, right? We're, yes. re we're reactive, would you agree? 100%. And lately, we're going into what we call a recession. How's your call volume been? The call volume has been tough. It's been tough. It's starting to drop. Absolutely. You know, with all these the feds raising rates and getting challenges, people aren't so quick to call you when there's a problem. Would you agree? That's correct. So we're going to have to start doing love our clients, right? We're going to have to stay there longer, love our clients. And I think one of the biggest things we can do is offer add-ons. Would you agree? 100%. And would you also agree that offering water is probably the smartest thing to do? It's one of the easiest things. Well, it's... It, it, Good point. It's easy. And the only way to do it, and part of our training is teaching these technicians how to be consistent. And you know, Bill, one of the things I also give them, and I hope you follow through with this, and, and I think you will, is they need to be consistent at their greeting. You know, when you're meeting a client for the first time, you have to plant all the seeds in order to provide the solution they're going to give them later. Would you agree? 100%. We talked about that today. We did. We said, hey, you know, be consistent at the door. When you knock on a door and introduce yourself, your name, your company, and, and you, you tell them a little bit about what the problem is that you've been sent out to do, you wait for that answer. And people will tell you, hey, my toilet, yes, it's running, or my water heater's leaking, or I got a drippy faucet, a, a thousand scenarios. The technician would wait and say, that doesn't surprise me. The water in this area is tough on the plumbing and appliances. Am I parked okay? And then go on with the rest of the script. But I think, and you would agree, that consistency on that greeting is so important. 100%. Yeah, you would agree with the training. You believe your technicians got something out of this? I do. I think today was a, a great first day, and I hope there's going to be more training that comes yeah. with it. Would you encourage managers as I travel through the country training that they really find the time? Because I know you had that problem today with scheduling. Some of the guys had to leave early, and you know, especially your top salesman, which I think he got it right away. Those kind of guys are self-motivated anyway, and I didn't mind it. But make sure he goes and looks on the website and gets himself educated. And I'm happy to come back if I'm invited anytime to help train you your bet. team. Great. As an overall, what would you say, how would you grade this training? Well, it was excellent. Uh, again, I think you know, when you came in here, uh, you know, I think in general, most people are a little hesitant with training. But I think what, what we saw was we saw a group of guys with an opportunity. Yeah, right? I'd An agree additional with opportunity to support themselves and their family. Yeah, if they offer water treatment, and I don't know this to be true, and maybe you can answer this question. If they sell an add-on product like the water filter, do they make more money? Absolutely. So you would say that there's a raise waiting. It's a huge raise waiting. And, and it's kind of important, because I, everywhere I go, that these technicians sometimes forget you know, they, you know, you've been through this in recessions. They're going to jump around to the people who think they're going to offer them more money. And how many come back? 
They all. They always come <laughs> back. You know, because one of the things I say all the time is a belief system that they have, it's always greener on the other side. We learned that today. We did. Actually, with one of your, one of your technicians. And I said, stop thinking, you know, the grass is greener. Because if the grass is greener over there, it's got a bill that's going to come along with that water, right? Correct. Because you got to water that grass. And what I told them today is, water your grass here. Make your bill here. If you water your grass and grow yourself in this branch, you not only make this branch better, you make you better, you make those around you better. Would you agree that's awesome? Absolutely. And so with that philosophy, I think it's important that, you know, between you and the other managers from the ARS industry here in the branches, if they all be consistent with their trainings, we'll get better. I want you to know and I want to thank you for your time and allowing me into your home here to, to talk to your clients and inspire them. You know, I have 35 years experience being a plumber and what I offered them today was the opportunity to call me anytime. Now that may get arduous down the road, but for today, I'd happily love to help your clients uh, here and train them and anytime I can. I want to thank you very much for today. Yeah, we want to thank you for coming here as well. And, uh, you know, I think, you, you know, your training, it was infectious. I think that the team walked out of here with a, with a hop to their, you know, to their yeah. step. And uh, we're going to see what happens out of it. Awesome. Well, let's follow up later and see how they do. And we'll get back with you. And you I look forward to coming back here to ARS in Orange. All right. Thank you. Well, thanks. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it.